Hey, it's me, Mike Ams. I'm here outside of Atlanta City Hall where they are having a city council vote about the decriminalization of marijuana here. Yeah, why is the decriminalization of marijuana so like important to you here in Atlanta? Uh, it just affects so many people, especially, you know, just being a black male and being targeted and when you kind of look at the numbers and kind of see what's going on. Especially in some areas, just like when you have dense populations, just African Americans, then you know, a lot of people in those areas are being targeted. Especially if like 53% of like Atlanta is black, but like 85 to 90% of those people that are being like kind of put in jail are like African American. It's kind of disproportionate. You're right, the numbers. numbers don't add up. Yeah. 92% of the arrests being African Americans is increasing the economic apartheid between the residents. We are fighting, we stand in support of the passage of this decriminalization of marijuana bill because it is also imperative to the city being able to reduce inequality. And we can do one thing that will slow down, as they say, the prison uh, additional complex and uh, enslave about another name. I'm an Iraq veteran. I'm a disabled veteran. I'm a Bronze Star recipient. I'm a West Point graduate. If we are serious about helping young people, if we are serious about reducing crime, we need to get serious about passing this legislation to change the way we police around marijuana. Amen. We don't want our kids to go to jail. We don't want our students to go to jail. These young people are being labeled as criminals. Their future is being destroyed. It's making it harder for them to succeed. It's making it harder for our communities to succeed. Please represent us the right way. We don't want to go to jail. When you all take a choice today to say we are going to stop the intentional profile of black people connected to marijuana, you are literally helping to dismantle the racism of this country. That's a major feat that you all can do. So I look forward to that one that's coming forward, and I look forward to us dismantling racism today. Thank you. So it gets a lot deeper than just smoking, I mean, so smoking's good, you know what I'm saying, everybody loves to smoke, but really kind of get out and show support and come out for, uh, definitely if we have anything in the community, anything kind of giving back. Uh, I also work with a group called Umi Feeds, that's in the What's area it here, Umi Feeds. Umi Feeds. Yes. The fight starts locally everywhere, right, right. you know, and you have to start within your own community and then build outwards. And you set the example in your own community by the things that you're doing for the people that are right in front of you, the right. people you interact with every day. Right. It's easy to be like, oh, I hate this thing that's right. over here, or we need to change this thing, but what are you doing to, to the people that are right in front of you? And I see that you're doing that out here in Atlanta, so right. that's, that's awesome. Um, uh, the vote is open. Please vote. The vote is closed. 15 yeas. I'm with Black Lives Matter of Atlanta. I wish it had passed as is without the amendments uh, 15, but I do think it was a powerful statement. And if you're looking for me on IG, I mean, it's ATL Fundraiser 21. ATL Fundraiser 21 right. on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I'll definitely make sure to hit that app, Yeah, yeah, let know? me know, but I mean, I'm <laughs> Give me that fall back, though. <laughs> don't, leave me, don't leave me hanging, bud. Right.